Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a iMats haul. For those of you that don't know, iMats is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show. They go to a lot of different cities like New York, LA, London, Toronto, I believe. There's some discounted makeup, there's a lot of vendors that come. It's so fun. If you're a makeup lover like me, it is your heaven. I look forward to it every single year. And this year we actually watched the Battle of the Brushes. It was really cool to see these young makeup artists create super cool looks. And I think the theme this year was graffiti glam, something like that. So they had a lot of spray paint all over. It's definitely a great place to just learn a lot about makeup, whether it's in the special effects realm, anything really. It's a great event and I absolutely love going. So I just wanted to show you my haul because I did one of these videos last year and you guys seem to really like it. So I wanted to do another one this year. I'm in no way trying to show off. I'm just showing you guys what I've got since I know I love watching haul videos and I think a lot of you guys do as well. So if you wanna see what I got at IMATS NYC 2019, then just keep watching. The first thing I wanna show you guys is this bag that we got from Lime Crime. And I saw all these people walking around with them and I was like, oh my God, I need that in my life. It was if you spend like a certain amount of money, you got the bag. So that was not hard to do and this bag is absolutely beautiful and I just, I love it. So starting off with Lime Crime, I got three things. I was really most excited about the Wet Cherry Glosses because I'm a lip gloss freak. Seeing the promo on Instagram, they just looked like really up my alley since they're super juicy looking and they have like the big doe foot applicator. So the first one I got is Bitter Cherry. The packaging is always so cute for Lime Crime and they really do smell like cherries. They're not super pigmented glosses. They're very sheer and buildable, but very juicy looking, which I really like. Bitter Cherry is just like a peachy nude. I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it. And that's one lip gloss that I can kind of just throw on without even looking in the mirror. And then I picked up Flamingo Cherry. As you can see, it's a bit more pigmented and it's like a bright coral shade. It's absolutely gorgeous. I noticed, not that I stepped out of my comfort zone. You guys know I love my nudes or I love my bright oranges. And I feel like I got a really good mix of shades this year. And I told myself, do not get any liquid lipsticks because I am so over them, I don't wear them. So I really did stick to that and I'm proud of myself because you know, I can kind of get sidetracked. And then I picked up the Lime Crime Velveteens Lip Liner in the shade Cake. I really liked the texture of it because I don't like lip liners to be too creamy or too dry because then they'll drag. So I kind of like them to be somewhere in the middle. And this is just a really pretty pinky nude. So I'm excited to try that. Now on to Morphe. The line to get in and shop at Morphe's booth is absolutely ridiculous. It can be like two and a half hours. And my mom and I were always just like, we don't have time for that. But we actually stopped by at the end. We wanted to see how long the line was and it was really short for Morphe. So we got in within like 10 minutes, which was amazing because we tried earlier on in the day and it was just not happening. I finally got the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I am so excited to try this because I have wanted this for so long, ever since Kathleen Lights first talked about it because she's obsessed with this. Then I got the lip gloss in the shade Freebird. This is a very neutral gloss. I feel like it's gonna be super easy to throw on, almost like Bitter Cherry from Lime Crime that I showed you. It's a more of like a brownish nude. It's not too pigmented and it's not too sheer. It's somewhere in the middle. Then from Friends Beauty, I got this Stilazi Bahamas Blush Palette. It is absolutely beautiful. This is like the tones that I'm wearing right now. It was a mix of like mattes and also some shimmers. So I'm really, really, really excited to try this out. And it's just gonna be really easy to travel with and kind of throw in your bag. I am so excited about that because I've been on a blush kick recently. This is the Stilazi Lip Vinyl in the shade Shaken. This is so buttery. It's like ridiculous. It's definitely a thicker, more pigmented gloss compared to the other ones I've showed but it's a beautiful like pinky nude color. It's definitely a more pigmented gloss. I can just slide my lips and throw that on and then I'll have a super pretty pinky nude lip. So yeah, definitely excited about that one. And then they had the Stila Glitter and Glow and Shimmer and Glow shadows and they were discounted. So I went ham, I got three. These shades are just gorgeous. I can't even tell you. This is Rose Gold Retro. So this is the most neutral out of the three that I got. This is the more like glittery formula. So this is the glitter and glow, I believe. As you can see, you can't even, it doesn't even do it justice. It is an absolutely gorgeous rose gold shade with a ton of like silver glitter. Then I have Vivid Amethyst, and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous like jewel toned purple. And I've been really wanting like a purple in my life. As you can see, it's not as glittery as 
the rose gold retro right next to it but it definitely has that metallic like high impact shine to it so i'm so excited to try that and then i got vivid jade it is a absolutely stunning green color i am so excited to wear this kind of just like buffed out on my lid it is beautiful as you can see it has a lot of dimension to it and a lot of reflect it's absolutely stunning so these three i am so so excited to try next i got this sheet mask i'm not sure of the brand like what booth this was they had a ton of sheet masks for like a dollar it said it should deliver antioxidants it should reduce scarring and it's also very moisturizing so i'm excited to try that because i just love my sheet masks moving on to inglot i got this high gloss lip oil this is in the shade o2 i really liked the packaging on this it was like a twist up it's super glossy and very thin in formula since it is kind of like that lip oil and i just thought this would be super fun to throw on in the spring or the summer and just kind of have like some nice moisture and glossiness on my lips and then from the lip bar i absolutely love the lip bar and they have absolutely beautiful products gorgeous colors the price point is amazing and i just love the whole philosophy behind the brand and i got to meet their ceo melissa butler yesterday and i was dying i love her she is so adorable and she's so inspirational i was just really excited that i got to meet her they actually followed me on instagram yesterday like as i was talking to them and i was dying because that was just like amazing i got this lip gloss in the shade socialite and their glosses are super pigmented. They are so creamy, it's like ridiculous. They're honestly like the Anastasia glosses, but I find not as thick, but like pigment wise, they're almost like the same. And it's just this gorgeous like electric coral. That's gonna be perfect for the spring. From Suva Beauty, I was not prepared for this. For those of you that don't know, Suva Beauty is most known for their UV liners. So they're gel liners and they're super neon and super bright and they basically glow in the dark and when i saw this palette when i first saw the packaging i was like wow that's gorgeous and then i opened it and i just knew that it had to be mine it is called the rose period palette first of all can we just look at this packaging it is absolutely gorgeous and i don't know if you could tell i'm like blinding you but the rose period actually is like silver and reflective which is so beautiful and this is the palette i actually have on my eyes right now except for the glitter i'll get to that in a minute but this palette is just gorgeous. The shades in here are beautiful. You get four shimmers and the rest are mattes. This palette is super versatile. You can really kind of get any look. You can get like your more brown looks over here. You can get a really pale, more pink look. You can get a nice deep purple look. And I am in love with it. Honest to God, I'm in love with it. Lastly, from Lit Cosmetics, I have one of the glitters on my eyes right now. This is in the shade Afternoon Delight, and I'm not gonna open it because that will just be a pain and it'll go everywhere, but the packaging is so cute. You can't tell. I mean, you could see on my eyes, it's a lavender, and it has like gold and green reflex to it. It is absolutely stunning. I got the Lit Water Resistant Glitter Base to go with it, just because their glue is like one of the best and then i also got island girl which is another glitter i don't even know if you can tell it's like a bronze base and then it has the green and gold reflex to it i'm super excited to have those glitters in my collection now and to try them out and make some really cute looks that's it for my eye mats haul i hope you guys enjoyed and if any of you went to eye mats please let me know down below what you guys got and if you enjoyed it and i hope for those of you that haven't been that maybe this will inspire you to go because it is such a fun day i hope you guys enjoy this video and let me know if you have any recommendations or suggestions of what you want to see from me in the future whether it's a makeup look whether it's a haul anything just please let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next one bye